In the ongoing saga of the perpetual man-child, few gifts, few entertainments are more outrageous, decadent, and a sign of the decline of Western civilization than receiving a vintage-style at-home arcade cabinet. Behold, the Arcade 1-Up at-home arcade, featuring some classic games like Pac-Man Plus, Pac-Man, Pac-N-Pow, Pac-Mania, Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Super Pac-Man, Pac-Lan, Galaga, Galaxian, Dig Dug, Dig Dug 2, Mappy, and Rompers, and maybe even Mappy Rompers. So, we'll be constructing this totem, this idol, to modern decadence and extended adolescence in today's video. Let's see how it goes. All right, well, it took me about 10 minutes just to get the bag open. This thing is really packaged well, which I guess is good for an arcade cabinet. Look at this glue on here. Crazy. All right, so lots and lots of boxes. I think I'm going to be unpacking boxes for a while. All right, so I got the three boxes inside the big box out. They have a lot number, but it looks like it's one, two, three. We'll see if those go in order. When I took box two, I fell over. Oh, no. Um, there's warranty information. Ooh, the owner's manual. Oh, yeah. So if I do this right, that's what it will look like. And then we have our assembly instructions. I crumba. Lots of screws and boards and all sorts of things to put together. So we'll be beginning on that shortly. Unless a certain dog interrupts the proceedings. All right. So after some time in the sun with my dog, I think I've gotten all the parts out. Some of them I still have bagged up. And so we're going to start uh, putting this bad boy together. Um, it's pretty cool. Here's the console over here somewhere. This red clown nose thing is the um, the top of the joystick. Really cool. So uh, I'm excited to build it. Under here is some more electronics. That might be the screens. I'm trying to keep that separate and safe. And of course, I've got my assistant here enjoying a nice nap. This is a union job after all. So we're going to get cracking. Whew, all right, so I've been working for about an hour, maybe a little more. I've been working at a very deliberate pace. I've been doing some other things while putting this together, but finally got the other side on. So the way it was built was starting on one side of the cabinet and then building up. And this was a pain because it was like playing whack-a-mole with wood. I had to get this side on, and a lot of these pieces there's little slots in the side that had to plug in. So I was on my hands and knees using my flashlight to try to hook everything up. So now I think I've got it. Famous last words. So now I've got to screw it all in. And after that, I suspect it'll be a little bit easier going. Um, but it's looking pretty cool so far. All right, so let's keep going. Whew, praise the Lord, y'all. So I think I did have it all right. All these screws screwed in uh so we still got a good bit to go but look at that look at that shine really beautiful so i still got a good bit left to do i gotta get the back on this bad boy i gotta do some of the wiring and stuff uh but yeah um i am very thankful i think that's probably going to be the hardest step right there now the real test will be when i have to stand it up and uh, you see my assistant here she's inspecting the work uh in her own sort of uh lethargic, methodical way. All right, let's keep going. Whew, all right, praise the Lord again. I stood it up. Nothing yet has fallen out. We still have a lot to do. Um, and, uh, ooh, that doesn't look good, so I I gotta adjust that. So, uh, but now I'm gonna get into the backside of it and do some more screws let's fix this up here before we move on though because that it does not look right all right so i think i fixed that on the side it turns out that was just part of the process the screen was not quite seated properly on both sides but i think i got that worked out as well and so here's literally my next step step 15 peel off the screen protector oh yeah 
I can't do a bag pull. Well, I guess I could, but who wants to watch me pour screws out? Of course, who wants to watch me peel a screen off? But, if I can't do that like I do with my Lego videos. Uh -oh. oh no! Little dangling participle up there. Let's pull off the screen protector. Oh baby, look at that. Talk about a black mirror, yeah? And you see me filming there. Whoa. Alrighty. Got a little bit up in there. We'll get that out later. But it's coming along. It's looking pretty dang cool. All right. It's a momentous moment. Screwing on the joystick ball. I keep thinking it's going to tighten up, but I guess that's good. Wow. Hear that. Just like that classic arcade action. My older brother got one of these as well. He's already put it together. He said that the action is very much like a classic arcade. Check out the um, the cool retro Pac-Man and Ghost um, graphics. And then down here, you've got the little thing. I think that lights up. We'll find out in a minute. I like uh, the, the replica of the, of the quarter slot. That'd be awesome if there's an actual quarter slot in here. But I just love this. This is going to be really cool. So this is a little dark, but just a little, little more, uh, detail. So here's the wiring. There's this little adapter that runs up that will do the lighting. So that's going to be the front of the cabinet and the top of the cabinet. We have our sort of typical aux cord there for our audio, which will come out of the top of the cabinet. And then this is the power. This is uh, going to run to our little power supply here. I also, also noticed this thing. The whole package is 85 pounds, but this is pretty easy to maneuver around. I might take this off because there's some dust underneath there. Um, I guess it's like wood dust from the packaging, but, uh, so I'd have to unscrew all that, but I also realized I forgot to put this little black cover on. Just listen to that again. It's got that classic arcade action. So I think now we're going to put the back on. I believe that's correct. Yeah, and we'll run our little power cable through there. So, uh, yeah, I th and I think after that, I think we're close to being done. I think that what's going to happen next is we are going to run our power through. And there's some other pieces. There's a, oh yeah, there's a base that we'll put together and sit it on top so the arcade stands up more at a at a standing level. Right now you could play it sitting down. So all right. We're almost done screwing. Alright. I say that word a lot. The moment of truth. We still gotta build the base, but I plugged it up to power. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh it's loading. Here I am. <laughs> Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, here's our volume knob. So we can make it louder or softer, apparently. Nice. Look at all of that copyright information. <laughs> oh, nice. Put a little volume meter on there. Cool. Let's see. Pac-Man. Oh, nice. We'll have to really get into this later because I want to finish building this bad boy. But yeah, there it is. Classic Pac-Man with all the names of the ghosts and everything. All right, let's do it. Let's try this a little bit. Look at that glare from my overhead light. Oh boy, yeah, it controls just like classic Pac-Man. Oh, a little gummy. Trying to get up there. No, I promise you I'm a good Pac-Man player. Uh, it's the controls. It's the controls. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Turn. Yes. Got them all. The ultimate Pac-Man Let's Play video. <laughs> oh, jeez. I thought it was a goner there for sure. All right, all right, all right. I got to start. I keep doing this thing. Oh, that's cool, though. Very fun. 
probably a little easier playing with my right hand instead of my left. All right. Get the cherry. Oh, yeah. And he got got. Nice. All right. Let's finish building it before I play more. Okay. We're almost done. I got the base done. I got the cabinet done. All I have left to do is to connect them together. I wanted to point out a couple of things though. Like, so most of the weight I can tell is from this base, which makes sense. Um, because that is going to be pretty hefty to hold the cabinet. Um, I, well, I was screwing in my screwdriver slipped a little bit and it's very hard. You might not even be able to see it in this light. I put a little tiny scratch right there, but I've noticed that. So, I mean, that's not ideal, but it is what it is. I could probably touch that up with a little paint or some stain. Not a big deal, but that happened a few times where my screwdriver would slip while screwing and uh it was fine um the the finish is quite good there's a little bit of damage here um and i think that came packaged that way i was pretty careful with the pieces uh as i unpackaged everything so i think that just just came as it is but that's not a big deal that's actually going to be on the back of the cabinet too so it's probably the best possible place so i'm really pleased overall the quality you know it's basically particle board or press board, that kind of thing is nothing really high quality, but they do build it pretty sturdy. So, all right, the last step, lifting this onto that and putting in four more screws, I think, and then we're done. And then we can find a space for this among all this junk. And as the good Lord said, it is finished. Although this is a far less painful process than what our Lord and Savior had to endure. Oh boy, it looks great. The only real difficulty, I'm not pleased with this. I'm, I'm worried that this is not really seated well. Um, it was very hard lifting this up by myself into this thing. It was totally doable. See, I don't like that. I, I'm worried I've done something wrong. Um, they say not to use a power drill or power screwdriver on this. I relented on the last step because the little screws for the very last step just were not going in. And, um, and so I tried, maybe it's not aligned correctly, but everything's in there according to the instructions. So the last thing they recommend or they, they, they actually say you should do is, um, that you should secure the arcade to the wall and they have a kit to do that. I'm not going to include that in this video, uh, but I am going to do that at some point. I'm not really worried about it right now. Uh, Murphy, my faithful assistant, and my union employee is not going to uh, knock it over or anything like that. They don't want kids standing on the front and then it tips over, which I suppose could be a hazard. Um, I have an event here at my home for my private music students a couple times a year. They have the recital on my front porch. And I, and so, um, so like with that, I might, uh, you know, I, I want to make sure I have it secured to that wall. It's going to go about where that lamp is and all these Star Wars boxes. But um, otherwise, I'm not going to worry about it. So, uh, yeah, very cool. I am super excited about this. So one more quick little section here showing all the games. I'm not really familiar with Pac-Land. I kind of remember Super Pac-Man and I know Galaga and Galaxian. Mappy's your like that, that little uh, mouse, I think. Yeah, and of course Dig Dug. So very neat unit. It looks really great in my very kind of masculine wood paneled wall uh, house. So yeah, very, very cool. I don't know how much this thing was. I've received it as a gift for Christmas from my, my parents. Thank you very much, mom and dad. And I know my younger brother helped find it. Uh, so it was, they got it January of 2023. I'm making this video January of 2024. They set on them for the year to give them to my older brother and myself for Christmas. So knowing my younger brother, he got some sort of insane deal on it, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it over here. Uh, we won't show that in the video, but yeah, thanks for watching so much as the arcade one up Pac-Man plus cabinets. Uh, I think total, it probably took me two and a half hours to put together, but that was with some breaks. My uh, union employee here had to go out and get some sunshine and have a few smokes. So no, I'm just kidding. She doesn't smoke, nor do I, but this game is going to be smoking soon enough. But 
I got to get my union employee to the vet. So we'll play this later. Thanks again for watching.